Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, this is part two of questions and answers for 24H2 that is now rolling out. And of course, you can uh, get it also through the download at uh, Microsoft. So um, we're going to actually answer some of the questions about uh, that, that that arrived yesterday on my questions and answer. So a lot of other people had some questions. So first of all, compatibility with older software. So if my software is running on 22H2 or 23H2, is there a risk that it would not on 24H2? Not that I know of. Um, and there's a lot of new features, but there isn't a change that is big enough to, uh, from what I see, uh, make incompatible software. So um, one of the examples somebody was uh, talking about Eases. Uh, partition or um, Eases uh, backup software. Um, they should still continue to work as they did before uh, the um, the um, the uh, 23H2 or 22H2. There's not enough changes, like I said, to make a, com uh, a software incompatible. And note that sometimes when you upgrade from one version to the other, a software can break uh, because of some changes. Doesn't mean it's incompatible. It might just mean you gotta reinstall it. Uh, clean install. Should I do a clean install uh, or not? Well, this is an interesting question. That is, the answer is the best would be yes, a clean install. It's it's always the best option. Why? Because you just get rid of everything and you start fresh with a Windows version that is uh, stripped down to the minimum of what it could be on your machine, and then you can reinstall whatever you are uh, doing, just the bare so the software you use, nothing more. Don't, you know, don't over-install uh, software. There's too many people that install tons of things, and uh, that is where problems arrive. Uh, I've seen one that ranted to me that I wasn't talking about tools that we need to clean windows. And he had like 25 of those on his PC, but also he's the one that commented the most about, well, windows 11 is broken here. Windows 10 is broken there. Yeah. Because you have all of that crap that's useless on your PC. Um, so if you want to clean install, it's the best, but you don't have to. Okay. If your windows install works fine, um, you probably will move on to Windows 11 24H2 on the upgrade path, and it's still going to work fine. So, um, and, it, you know, if something happens, if it's slow, it has um, something not right, uh, then maybe think of a clean install. But for most people, that will be the path. The upgrade path will simply push them to 24H2. Uh, that's what I did here on my gaming laptop. I just pushed from 23H2 to 24H2. That's it, and works fine. The bypass, the famous bypass using Rufus to install on machines that are not compatible. Does it work on 24H2? I've heard that it doesn't. No, it does. Where it's going to get complicated is maybe 25H2 uh, next year. But for now, if you use Rufus, remove the um, compatibility checks you will still have an unsupported machine that will work. And remember that you're not going to be pushed to 24H2 on uncompatible machines automatically. You'll have to do it yourself. RAM usage. Does it use more RAM than previous versions? Not that I've, I've, I can't say that I've noticed any changes in the amount of RAM that it uses. And so if um, you're using 20. 4H2, you really shouldn't see any differences uh, technically about RAM usage on your PC. Gaming performance. Gaming performance is, so I game on my laptop. I'm on 24H2, been there even on the release preview. Does it work? Well, um, I haven't seen any problems with the games that I play. You know, I play Halo, I play... Um, uh, what what's the games that I'm just out of top of my head? I forgot. But uh, anyways, I play a lot of. Uh, I play Forza. Um, I have a couple of others that are installed. They all work fine. They all perform well. 
I've got no complaints to give about anything. Honestly, um, just works great. Um, one of the things that will come to Windows 11 24H2 that might even be better than the other versions is um, there's going to be a new way. Uh, the next drivers that will be for the graphics adapter will change the way the graphics adapter actually works. And that could actually improve performance. So at least that's what they're saying. Okay, I'm using the uh, update assistant or I'm going through Windows update. Um, will I lose my data or can I keep my data? Uh, if you go through Windows update, those that will move on using Windows update, when you come back to 24H2 when it's over, everything will be exactly the same with all of your software, everything where it is, all your programs, all your data will be there where it was. There shouldn't be any difference. Using the assistant you have um, or any other way of upgrading, you will have that question that's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Keep everything, keep just the data, or just remove everything. You simply choose what you want to choose. Choose keep data, and it should be okay. You will have your data uh, on your machine. Nothing will be gone. Should I force upgrade with the installation assistant? If you're, you know, an enthusiast that knows your way around the PC and feel like you want to go to 24H2, go for it. Why not? Uh, just use an installation assistant. I've seen a lot of comments in the video yesterday of people that did use it and say it's working fine. So you can, absolutely. Um, so why not? And once you use the installation assistant, you can, of course, choose to keep your data and, and so on. And last but not least, will I have my PC drive encrypted with BitLocker once I move on if I go with Windows Update or with the assistant and so on? An upgrade? No. There will no, not be any BitLocker uh, encryption done. Where... It's supposed to happen is in a clean install on compatible PCs. Compatible PCs means you absolutely need a solid state drive for that encryption to work and uh, need some of the minimum requirements to be there. Uh, so you have to, it will not encrypt on unsupported machine, it will encrypt only on supported PCs with SSDs. Uh, and it's only on the clean install that it's supposed to do that. Now, I need to have somebody out there tell me that they did a clean install and it is encrypted because I would like to know. So if you're one of those that clean install 24H2 on a machine that is compatible, uh, check the state of BitLocker. Make sure that you go and simply look at BitLocker. You can search for it, manage BitLocker. And tell me, does the status of BitLocker on your system say that it's on? So here, BitLocker is off for me because this machine is um, uh, on, on, moves on from 23H2 and it's an insider machine anyways. But check it, check it out. Tell me if your BitLocker is on if you clean installed 24H2 on a compatible machine with an SSD drive. It'd be interesting. I would like to know. So these are all the other questions that people were asking on uh, the uh, Windows 11 24H2. If you've got more, you can simply put them below in the uh, uh, in the uh, comment section, and I'll be checking it out. And possibly, if there's only one or two questions, I might answer to you directly there. If there's a lot more, well, I'll probably be making a part three. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.